Peter, congratulations. WCPD has just broken another record with a $100 million charity flow-through deal. Do mm. I have that correct? Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so $100 million charity flow-through. Believe it or not, we've done a lot of work in the market on charity flow-through, and a lot of people don't know what that is. So how about you explain what this is, please? With charity, okay. Well, every, people in the market generally understand flow through, and flow through is always taking the risk. Uh, usually, it's a private placement. You'd hold the stock for four months, or sometimes you'd buy it in a limited partnership, and limited partnership would be oh maybe a two or three year time frame. Um, again, taking the stock market risk. Uh, there was a nuance change that actually started in two thousand and six. So we're in our eighteenth year. When Stephen Harper finished the job that Paul Martin started and said, we want to promote more char charity contributions in Canada, and we're going to match the Americans by donating public stock without having to pay a capital gain. If you sell the public stock without going to charity, of course, you pay the capital gains tax. So it's another incentive on top of the uh, usually high marginal rates at over 50% in Canada that you would save with a charitable donation. So that was the trigger. And I knew immediately flow through shares in the mining industry because you get 100% tax write-off became a zero ACB. So they're all capital gain. Without what a great tool to basically use flow through shares on top of maybe your Royal Bank stock or Exxon stock or whatever else other stock you have uh, um, to be able to donate to charity. And that was working well, Tracy, from 206, 207, 208, until the financial crisis. And of course, then that wasn't a great investment. Nothing was a great investment in 2008. Uh, and then two, uh, really, to be to be fair, one of my friendly competitors uh, in the space, there's four of us that do this work, uh, came up with a, with a nuance to let's sell it to a liquidity provider. And thus the name became Charity Flow Through. And what a liquidity provider is, Tracy, is how we de-risk a very volatile uh, junior mining uh, investment by selling it to a third party, a liquidity provider. Usually it's an institution, always someone that enjoys and likes the mining industry and was able to buy those shares at a discount from where they are in the market. So our donors would buy the flow through shares, but then immediately sell it to a Royal Bank resource fund, an AGF resource fund, Sprott, for example. Those are examples of other liquidity, of liquidity providers. And uh, that's charity flow through. Um, 2011, though, we had to pay the capital gains tax. The conservatives at the time said, well, this is very generous. We never really thought about flow through shares being used as a tool. Uh, so then we do have to pay a capital gains tax. So now um, still the majority give it to charity, but you don't have to. You can keep it for yourself. You're going to pay the capital gains tax either way. But the charity flow through name kind of stuck. Uh, another name for it is called structured flow through because it is a structured deal where we're de-risking it. And that's the key. We are de-risking it so that the uh, individual investor doesn't have to take on that risk. That gets passed immediately to the liquidity provider. And the good news for our issuer friends listening on, um, they usually get a much higher premium. So we have do get a triple win where the mining company gets a higher premium. Uh, the individual clients uh, get a, a, a riskless investment uh, with the one exception that the money company does have to spend it on drilling. If they don't do that, then we then, of course, our investors could get reassessed by CRA. And then the last point is that the liquidity providers tend to be great investors. They're long term thinkers. They've got deep pockets and they can handle the volatility a lot more than the individual taxpayers in Canada can. That, that's been the history of it. Okay, so this most recent announcement for the 100 million structured flow through or charity flow through, depending on what you want to call it, yes. seems like a significant amount of money for exploration. Mm. Can you tell us how these funds are going to be used? Can you comment on that? Right, sure. Well, there's different buckets of, of flow throughs and, and the, the safest bucket and the bucket that gives the least amount of tax deductions is what they call CDE, Canadian Development Expenses. And that's what this $100 million deal was with Skeena, uh, which is in the Golden Triangle of BC. So that $100 million is going to be used to develop their mine. 
And it was part of a $1 billion financing. Uh, the other financing, of course, would not qualify for the tax deductions. Uh, but yeah, the 100 million CDE was a record. I think the previous record was about 70 million. And then there was another one at 50 million by my competitor. So it was a bit of a leapfrog. And I'm sure that eventually someone will break this record just like they do with almost every record in the world. Okay, speaking of records, the uh, announcement that I read commented that this was the second record you had broken what was the what was the first one well i mean the the first one uh, was that we we did we were the firm that did the first uh you know charity flow through or the first uh, uh donation of flow through shares literally two days after stephen harper changed the law in may 2006 our client we had flow through shares we've been selling them for since i've been in the business since 1987 and we had a client ready to go he he, he had a he wanted to help his hospital he held uh, flow through shares that had a zero ACB, uh, and we donated to the hospital, and then the hospital slowly uh, sold them out. So, so that was uh, that was a record, and and that one can't be broken because the first is the first. Um, and the other one we're kind of proud of is is we're still Canada's leader on the number of transactions of structured flow throughs we've done. We're now at a 720 transactions. Um, I think. Uh, my competitors, the next one is at 550 and maybe 450 closed transactions. Now that would be over a 16 year period. We average about 60 closings uh, a year, which is quite significant. And I think a little bit, Tracy, has to do with we also do two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar raises. You know, we don't everything doesn't need to be five million, ten, twenty, or our record prior to this was 33 million. Um, and it was with Skeena. And it was actually in March, it was announced early March, March the 1st, during COVID, if you can believe it, 220, at 2020. That actually was harder for me to raise than the $100 million, to get $33 million in March, and it got peeled into the middle of April when you finally hit that number, was incredibly hard because the world fellow was falling apart. Something interesting I've read recently is it's not just Canadian listed companies that are tapping into the structured right. flow through. It's my understanding that quite a number of ASX listed companies with projects in Canada are now utilizing this structured financing. Can you comment on that? Yeah, it's 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 been a great help to us because I mean one of our biggest bottlenecks is finding those liquidity providers, the ones that are going to take the risk. Uh, and the Canadian market has been quite beaten up, as we all know. It kind of hit a, a peak at 2011 when China was at its top growth, and then it's been declining pretty well ever since with a few pockets of good news in 2016 and maybe the summer of 220. Um, so the Aussies, uh, as long as they're drilling in Canada, so that's the key component. If they're going to have, they have drill targets in Canada, we can do a flow through share for the Canadian investors. They can get a great premium and the stocks can trade on the Australian or any of the European exchanges. So that is about the, that's about two years old, two, three years old. And it came at a great time because, you know, we're always looking for for people that want to be in the mining market, that want to help the critical minerals and save the planet. And the Australians have had they, they haven't had the bear market that we have. They, they've still they've had some great wins. And it's great to have another uh, international component coming in to help the Canadian market. So let me get this straight. If I'm a company that has an exploration or I'm involved in exploration resources in Canada, I'm interested in flow through or charity flow through. I call you, Peter, or do I go to your website? What do we do? No, I, well, look, I, I prefer a uh, website's fine. We got a, we got a tab there to contact me, but uh, I mean, uh, um, I'm, I'm easy to contact. You can Google me. And of course, I'll, I'll even give you my private cell number, Tracy, which I'm always happy to give. Uh, that's 613-851-0417. Yeah. And then we, we feel we have a Canadian subsidiary, but the, 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 the shares will be on the Australian exchange. They'll get a great premium and it absolutely is worthwhile to, to look deeper into. Yeah. And for more information on general information or other interviews on Peter, go to flow-through.com. Thank you so much for joining us today, Peter. Okay, great, Chasey. Bye-bye.